Welcome back to Square Off. That's one of the signature songs from the musical Americano. It's an Arizona-made American story, and it's one step away from Broadway, something that's never been done by an Arizona musical. Americano tells the story of Tony Valdivinos. He was a Camelback High School graduate who found out on his 18th birthday when he tried to enlist with the Marines that he was undocumented, a dreamer. I'll let Tony Valdivinos pick up the story from there. He joins us now from New York. Welcome to Sunday Square Off. Thank you for having me. So I know you're in New York right now. There are rehearsals going on for the play. What's the atmosphere like inside that room? The atmosphere is like a campaign. I mean, everybody is absolutely thrilled for the professional opportunities that they got out here uh, in New York. And so it just it feels exciting to be around a lot of folks that are driven to the same direction and uh it feels like familiar territory so I'm, I'm very excited to be in a room full of energized folks that are very very talented and i saw an uh, image post on social media i don't know if you were in that group but a group in times square behind an electronic billboard up high with americano on it that's your story did you ever imagine this could happen absolutely not i uh you know the the beginning of at least my story was uh feeling inspired and being inspired by a, a Marine that uh, was in my life. And eventually we helped uh, run for office. Um, and I just never thought the journey would be um, inspiring to others to the point where, where they would they wanted to put this uh, in a seven-year production. And here we are now in New York. So it's been a big, big ride and not expected at all. So tell us about that turning point in your life. You're 18, you go to enlist, and the recruiter tells you, sorry, you can't do that. That moment was an order for me. It was the first time I had ever been in front of a Marine officer. Uh, I knew what a Marine officer was. I studied them my entire life, my childhood. I'd looked up to Marines. Uh, and at that moment, I was asked to leave. I, I was told I was wasting their time. I was confused, but I ultimately didn't dare question uh, the order at the moment. And so I uh, went home and uh, demanded some answers from my parents. And uh, the truth came out at the moment. And uh, I was absolutely spiraling from there, uh, but fortunately, I was able to uh, get involved, started volunteering uh, in electoral efforts, and uh, met a lot of people that uh, brought me up and uh, taught me to keep going. And you know, I've called this an American story, and it really is because that moment you describe is very well known to many young people here in Arizona, isn't it? Absolutely. They've all dealt with it. What kept you going? It was uh, it was a Marine. I got to tell you, I, I looked up my entire life to the U.S. Marines and I know their history very well. Uh, and, you know, w when I started volunteering, I met so many other dreamers uh, that had big ambitions to be doctors, to be lawyers. Um, and uh, I realized there was an entire community that was absolutely not able to contribute. And, uh, I met a young man at the moment at that time that uh, taught me how to fight. And uh, he was a Lima Company 325 um, and uh, I followed him for years and uh, came to the moment where uh, we ran him for Congress and I served as his field director, designed a program with a, a team of students, 30 uh, particular, that, uh, and we went out there and we absolutely uh, turned votes. We, we asked people to, to show up in uh, the second lowest performing district of the country. So, uh, you know, myself, I can't vote, but ultimately being able to talk to your neighbors in English and Spanish and talking to them about the importance of getting our roads paved and having policy that benefits our communities, uh, I found a different way to serve. And that was Congressman Ruben Gallego, wasn't it? That's correct, Congressman Ruben Gallego. And so what is the message you want to send on Broadway or an off-Broadway we're going to be now? You know, send to the theater goers and to Washington. What we hope to achieve with the message is uh, the human aspect, the human story of growing up uh, as a patriot, loving the country, pledging allegiance to the flag every day. And, uh, you know, no matter which country we're coming from, you know, they, they call this the melting pot because so many people come here for hope. And I know that that was my parents at the at the time where we immigrated. Uh, I was two years old. I was a toddler. and uh, But my mom knew that she wanted to give us a better opportunity. And uh, she absolutely did that. And uh, so I think that that's what the story is about is the uh, compassionate story of just a young gentleman that didn't give up um, and wanted to serve this country and found different ways of doing that, regardless of the political atmosphere that we were subjected to. Tony Valdivinos, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for sharing your story and best of luck.